Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is avalanche photodiode that is APD. In this session, we'll discuss the construction and working of avalanche photodiode as well as we'll compare APD with pin photodiode and we will solve few numericals related to this avalanche photodiode. What is the basic concept? Like the normal avalanche process here, multiplication of charge carrier takes place because of which the gain is provided. Now this is the construction details of APD. This is P plus region, this one is N plus region. These P plus and N plus regions are heavily doped. Like earlier diodes, APD is also uh, connected like this. That means reverse bias is applied uh, to the structure. So P plus is connected to the negative terminal of battery. N plus is connected to the positive terminal of battery. Below this P plus layer, one layer which is called the pi layer is inserted and below this pi layer one more layer is added that is p region so these last two layers that is p and n plus forms highly resistive region which is the region which is responsible to produce the gain or to cause the avalanche multiplication that means this in this region the multiplication action takes place incoming light is allowed to fall on the top p plus layer we know that whenever the photons are falling on semiconducting material, then due to the energy content in the photon, when they strikes on the material, electron hole pairs are generated. The width of pi layer is more compared to the other regions. So maximum number of electron and hole pairs are formed in the pi layer. These electron and hole pairs try to move with their saturation velocity this direction of motion is in the field of applied electric uh, is in the direction of applied electric field now this is the highly resistive region when the charge carriers insert into the highly resistive region they strikes they collides with the lattice that means they collides with the structure and again new electron hole pairs are generated that means the multiplication of electron hole pairs or multiplication of charge carriers is done that's why the gain is provided this process is the avalanche process it is also called impact ionization process so this is about the principle of working of apd rather reach through apd that is r apd now we will discuss few important parameters related to this uh, uh, avalanche photodiode first is impact ionization coefficient as we discussed, when photons are falling on the structure, then electron hole pairs are generated, major electron hole pairs are generated in the pi region. When charge carriers move into the highly resistive region, then again newly uh, new electron hole pairs are generated. But to generate new electron hole pairs, this original electron hole pairs which are created in the pi layer has to travel certain distance. So this impact ionization coefficient is related to this distance. It is one upon that is reciprocal of average distance traveled by electron and holes to generate new, new electron hole pairs. This is the impact ionization coefficient which is denoted by alpha. Another definition of alpha is number of secondary electron hole it is the ratio of number of secondary electron hole pairs to the unit length of the structure next is the response time as the name indicates it is the time required to produce the output in case of apd the response time is more because certain amount of time period is required for the uh, generated charge carrier to travel certain distance and again generate new charge carrier so response time is more Next is the threshold ionization energy. As the name indicates, there is certain threshold level or certain minimum amount of energy is required to cause this multiplication process. So it is the threshold ionization energy. Last parameter is multiplication coefficient. We know that the photocurrent is generated. Uh, we have already studied in earlier sessions also whenever light falls on, on such structures, photocurrents are generated. But in APD, Due to impact ionization or due to avalanche process, multiplication of charge carrier takes place. So multiplication coefficient is the ratio of output current to the input photo current. So these are few important parameters related to APD. Next we will discuss the different noise phenomena in case of avalanche photodiode. 
like the printer there are different noise factors so first is the short noise this noise is generated due to the primary currents the primary currents are ips that is photo current or dark current id or background current so the mathematical equation is i short is square root of 2q q is the charge of electron in the bracket ith plus ib plus id into g square g is the gain provided by the apd f is the excess noise factor b is the bandwidth so this is the mathematical equation to calculate the short noise second type of noise is the thermal noise there may be variations in the resistance of apd because of these variations it may happen uh, due to the variations in the temperature so because of these variations noise is created that is called the thermal noise it is given as square root of 4 ktb upon r equivalent k is the boltzmann's constant t is the temperature b is the bandwidth r equivalent is the equivalent resistance third type of noise rather major type of noise is the avalanche noise we have discussed the avalanche phenomena Whenever the photons are falling, then electron hole pairs are generated. These primary generated electron hole pairs have to travel certain distance. They will strike, they will collide with the lattice and again creates certain new electron hole pairs. But the number of these newly generated electron hole pairs, that means the number of secondary electron hole pairs is not fixed. There are variations. So these variations in the number of secondary charge carriers creates the noise, which is called the avalanche noise. Now let us discuss comparison between pin photodiode and APD, that is avalanche photodiode. You may use these points to write the advantages and disadvantages of each rod as well. So first part, in case of pin photodiode, the undoped eye layer is placed between two highly doped regions, whereas in case of APD, we have discussed the construction. Instead of eye layer, pi layer is placed between the heavily doped regions. Then in pin photodiode, there is no gain in case of APD due to avalanche phenomena or impact ionization process, gain is provided. Since there is no gain in APD, external amplifiers are required to amplify the output, whereas not necessary to connect any external amp amplifier because the gain itself is provided by the device. Next, less response time for pin photodiode, more response time is required for APD because in case of APD, secondary charge carriers or newly newly charged carriers has to have to be generated next less sensitivity for pin diode and for apd more sensitivity then for pin diode low reverse bias is required for apd high reverse bias is required and pin photodiode shows good temperature stability whereas apd shows poor temperature stability now let us solve a numerical actually all the numericals as far as this apd is concerned are same so we have to make use of simple formulae i have made a list of formulae r is responsivity which is eta that is quantum efficiency into q q is charge of electron whose value is 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 90 into lambda lambda is operating wavelength upon h into c h is the planck's constant 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 c is the speed of light we know that speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second second formula is ip that is photo current is p0 that is optical power or output optical power into r r is responsivity third gain or multiplication factor is i that is multiplied current or total current upon ip that is photo current so consider a question a silicon apd has quantum efficiency of 65 percent so given values are quantum efficiency that is eta is 65 percent so it is 0.65 at a wavelength of 900 nanometer so value of lambda is 900 nanometer which is 900 into 10 raised to minus 9 meters 0.5 microwatt optical power produces that means this value is value of p0 optical power which is 0.5 microwatt it is given in microwatts so it is 0.5 into 10 raised to minus 6 watt so this much 0.5 microwatt optical power produces a multiplied photo current of 
10 micro ampere don't get confused this is multiplied photo current that is total current so value of i is 10 micro amperes which is 10 into 10 raised to minus 6 amperes find the avalanche gain that means we have to calculate value of m first we need to calculate value of r so we have the formula r is equals to eta q lambda upon hc put the values so it is 0 0.65 into q that is 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 into lambda that is 900 into 10 raised to minus 9 upon h that is 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 into c c is the speed of light which is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second so if you solve this you will get the answer of responsivity is 0 0.4714 this is answer of responsivity now calculate ip ip is p0 into r ip is the photo current so ip is p0 that is value of this optical power which is 0 0.5 into 10 raised to minus 6 into r that is 0.4714 so value of this ip will be 235.73 nano ampere do remember this value is in nano amperes means 10 raised to minus 9 last calculation gain or multiplication factor m is i upon ip so it is i is 10 into 10 raised to minus 6 upon 235.73 this is nano ampere so into 10 raised to minus 9 <coughs> if you solve this answer will be 42.42 so this is the way how the numericals are to be solved as far as this apd is concerned so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video